The fight over a proposed development at Sa the old St. Wahlberg Monastery came to a head tonight with hundreds of people wanting to give their thoughts on it. This was the meeting that got moved last week because so many people showed up. And Brad Underwood listened to all of them. He joins us now from Villa Hills. Hi, Brad. Well, hi, Kimmy. Still listening. This meeting started at 6.15 and has not ended yet as the proponents uh, for the development now have a chance to answer some questions after all of those public comments you mentioned. It was moved to tonight because of so many people wanting to speak. 220 people signed up to be here at the meeting. Now, not everyone who signed in uh, is actually here. They didn't make that an option if you were not going to be speaking. But uh, more than 70 people signed up to speak tonight, some uh, declining to after their views being shared by others. But this development we're talking about uh, here in Villa Hills called the Sanctuary would include 190 homes, 35 townhomes, 28 cottages for seniors, and 199 apartments, plus retail space, some parking, and some green space. The site it runs along Amsterdam Road between Stonewood Court to the east and Laurel Drive to the west. Uh, the current owner, as you mentioned, the Benedictine Sisters, they've held on to this for almost 100 years. They need to sell it to help bolster their retirement funds. Many of the residents who spoke out tonight, they don't want to see their bedroom community change. They don't want to blow up this award-winning community. They don't want commercial, and they do not want apartment buildings. My parents' career civil servants in the Department of Defense chose to raise our family in an apartment for the sense of community and a dwelling just big enough for what we needed. My parents and our neighbors were not transient, loud, drug dealing, or crime committing, but rather civic minded and church going people. I understand their desire to sell their land, but I'm opposed to the commercial aspect that Ashley Development has included in this project. In my opinion, the commercial development adds additional density and congestion to our most livable city connotation. I think it's a great, great idea for the city. My concerns are emergency access, one entry and exit point, and then my second is a plan for the roads. Um, how that work actually is going to get accomplished, which maybe that's up to the city, I don't know. Well, let's talk about the city. They do have the ultimate say on whether this development moves forward. And as this uh, planning uh, commission shared many times over and over with the people here in attendance, it is not their decision to determine if this is good for Villa Hills. It's simply their decision to make sure that this is in compliance with the developmental uh, plan that was laid out for this specific area. The meeting's still going on. If we get an update, uh, we'll certainly bring that to you on local12.com as far as a decision tonight. Reporting live tonight at Lakeside Christian Church, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cami. Brad, have they said if they're going to let all 70 people speak tonight and just have it keep going, or maybe they'll add another hearing to have those people heard from later? Have you, or do you know? Yeah, we do know. I mean, many of the people that signed up to speak did speak. There was a break taken at about 9, 10. A lot of people didn't come back after that break. Shortly before going on the air, they were to the point of the people who were neutral on the issue, then the proponents. So everyone who was for or against this has spoken. Now the commission, the planning commission, is asking questions to both the developer and the lawyer group of those citizens who don't want this to happen. Okay, and I'm sure we'll have the latest on Good Morning Cincinnati too. Brad